Hi everybody, Neil Percy here, Principal Percussion, London Symphony Orchestra, and welcome into the next concert in this series of fantastic concerts, Coffee Sessions. I have my own personal brew here, couldn't possibly tell you what it is, but what else? Mm. Very good, George. Now, interestingly, the LSO have uh, miraculously agreed to a piece that I composed being uh, put out for performance today. And I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the background of it and what's going on musically before you watch the video that's coming up. Now, in terms of, of a musical direction that I was on, I basically came up with a chord progression that I've been sort of fooling around with and it's based on a, a, a minor 11 chord going to a major 9 chord. So we've got something like this. I then take that same progression, we put it up a minor 3rd. Now what's really interesting for me is when you're sort of fooling around with stuff at the piano, uh, in my own personal uh, circumstances I've got 10 pretty useless fat fingers. But of course when you take the information and the, the music that you may have written here to the vibraphone, of course we then only have four mallets at our disposal. Now that's kind of interesting because it immediately puts you on kind of a restrictive diet because instead of being able to play 10 notes at any one time, we of course now can only be able to play four. But I'm often fascinated by that, that journey and, and always pleasantly surprised because when you're on such a restrictive diet, you have to think very carefully and thoughtfully about your choices of the notes that you actually want to play. So music that you might have conceived here as soon as you take it over there, it takes you in a, in a direction you may never have thought about. And interestingly, stuff that I might have conceived of the vibraphone when I brought them to the piano, the piano being the instrument it is, takes it on a journey that I'd have never have thought about had I sort of kept it at the vibraphone. So why lockdown, I hear you say? Of course, when I conceived this piece a number of years ago, lockdown didn't mean anything to any of us. Uh, I wrote it and dedicated it to a really great friend of mine, Mr. Joe Locke, who incidentally is one of the world's foremost exponents of the vibraphone, this really fantastic instrument behind me. And I just thought it was a really cool kind of name. And I said hi to another great friend of mine, Naji Bomasa, and said, Naji, can you just help me put this video together solely with the intention of just being able to send it to Joe. He opens his inbox, ping, there's a little tune that I've written for him and it just reaching out really. Now we also enlisted the help of Chris Rogers. Now Chris is one of the unsung heroes in helping the LSO to achieve digitally everything they have done in recent times. And together with a wonderful team that have brought you the fantastic Always Playing series of concerts, which I know many of you will have tuned into, and these wonderful coffee sessions, it's a brilliant team. And this is just to say a real heartfelt thank you to all of you guys. You're doing a brilliant job. And to anybody who may be watching, stay safe, guys. I really hope that you enjoy the music that's, that's coming up. And just in case George is watching, what else? <laughs>